Scientists at NASA discovers a new moon over here at 4.51 billion years old. The current report says that a new moon has been discovered over here and it has been estimated to have existed for over 4.1 billion years old before now. And according to this new report, it turns out that the moon is older than many scientists suspected, a ripe of 4.51 billion years old. That's the newest estimate according to the rocks and soil collected by Apollo 14 moonwalkers recently. The research team reported on Wednesday the 11th of January that the moon formed within 60 million years of birth of the solar system. Previous estimates ranged within 100 million years all the way out to 200 million years after the solar system's creation not quite 4.6 billion years ago. The, system, the scientists conducted uranium lead dating on fragments of the mineral zircon extracted from the Apollo 14 lunar samples. The pieces of zircon were very little, no bigger than the grain of a sun. Lead author Melanie Baboni of the University of California, Los Angeles said in an email that the size doesn't really matter. The record amazing information, not less. She also added that the moon holds so much magic and the key to understand how our beautiful earth is formed and evolved. According to the research and, a various, uh, and various other researches linked to the previous exploration, the moon was created from debris knocked off from planet earth, which itself is thought to be roughly 4.54 billion years old. Some of the eight Zycon samples were used in a previous study, also conducted at the University of California in Los Angeles, that utilized more limited techniques. Baboni said she is studying more Zycons from Apollo 14 samples, but doesn't expect it to change her estimate of 4.51 billion years from the moon's age, possibly 4.54 billion years at most. It would be a more double checking than anything else, she explained. She and her colleagues, whose work appeared on Wednesday in, in journal Science Advances, are eager to learn more about the moon's history and in turn the evolution of the early Earth and the entire solar system. Apollo 14's Alan Shepard and Edgar Mitchell collected 92 pounds of rock and used the tubes to dig up soil while exploring the moons from Moros Highland in February 1971. They conducted two spacewalks, spending nine hours altogether out on the lunar surface. It's the second major moon study this week. On Monday, Israeli scientists suggested our Earth's constant companion may actually be a melting pot of many mini moons rather than one giant impact that shaved off a chunk of earth and formed the moon a series of smaller collisions may have created multiple moonlets that eventually merged into one according to the researchers baboni said that regardless of how the moon came to be one big strike at earth many smaller moons or even none at all you still end up at the end solidifying the moon as we know it today the giant impact theory holds that the resulting energy formed a lunar lava ocean that later became solid it's this solidification age that boboni and her team have now ascertained thanks for watching and for some reasons, regardless of where you might be watching this short report from, be you in Africa, Asia, Australia, America, or the United Kingdom, whatever continent or country you are in, it is crucial to understand the signs of the end of days. This is the end of days as we have begun to see the signs. So do remember to give your life to Christ should in case you haven't done that. And lastly, always remember to keep an eye on the sky. 
leave your comments below and don't forget to hit the like button thank you so much for watching and see you on the other side